now we're back home things are still just a cooking and I don't think I showed up top here I might have there's a lot of branching in this cave and that's what I like about it I can go a lot of places lots of space for building and stuff I really should have my sword out in case of a fuzzy guy and here it gets really bright because there's an opening here so we can go up this way where you can see that I planted a few trees nice very nice uh, I wasn't turning this into an official tree farm though it was just to sort of you know get me started get a little bit of wood happening and over here yeah, it was down this way so it's a nice flat spot there for farming and stuff and here you can see I've got a melon farm going down here that I got started because I wanted to make some glistering melons before they nerfed it because once the 1.6 comes out it's going to you're gonna have to use uh, nuggets uh, six nuggets to make a glistering melon instead of one I believe is what it is so I decided I'm gonna make lots of these and stock up L looks like somebody jumped down there and killed one of my melons darn it wasn't me it must have been a mob I should have shielded this but oh well these things happen eh? I'll come back and regrow it so yeah, it's, it, this is a pretty tiny one, you know, like this, there's only a few melons here, so, but I don't use glistering melons a lot, I think in previous worlds I would just eat the melon slices straight when I, when I was in a rush or something and didn't have anything else, but uh, I was growing this one exclusively for getting the glistering melon slices happening, and I do have some, I think I got about three or four stacks of them, that'll be enough to last me quite some time so I'm not going to worry about it too much okay yeah see <laughs> I ended up with uh, more than two and a half stacks of them there <laughs> can I get back this way? I should be able to we don't fall too much yay <laughs> I'll eventually get a good up and down system going here. <laughs> For now, it's a little precarious running up and down and stuff. One way or another, I'll get back. Not that way, though. Okay, this is closer. Yeah, so I don't think we adventured that much along here. When we go out this way, it kind of spreads out a bit. I thought this was really neat. It's like the mountains forming this huge horseshoe with a really natural basin down in there that I could turn into a, a farm of some kind. Sheep farm, cow farm, pig farm, chicken farm. You know, because you know, with the walls being high and everything, it makes it really easy to keep them corralled in. So I thought, well, that's kind of nice. That'll do, do a good, good thing. Another one here for a smaller farm. <laughs> Might as well keep looking. And this was pretty awesome here with the overhang there. And I was thinking that way up here, way up here, might be a good spot to build a home. Is it up here or up over there? So either way up at this peak here or way up at that peak over there, I'm thinking of building a home. An outdoor home, that is. <coughs> you can see we got some flat lands over across there if we want to make use of it. And we got ocean out there too if we want to build a big mob grinder in the ocean. Something I was working on on the Strunt Kever server but never got completed because of the server shutting down. It was a tear jerking moment when they shut it down because I was right in the middle. Oh well. <laughs> Can't have everything. Where would you put it all? In Minecraft, there's uh, some place to put everything though. And if you don't have a place, you can make a place. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, the episode's getting kind of long now, but I want to quickly show you a couple more little things before we end the episode. So let's get rid of some of this stuff on me here. I don't need these rods either. Get this here. Yeah. Get rid of the rods. Eat some food. I don't have the mine cart. What'd I do with my mine cart? I must have come back and dumped it off. Or I dumped it somewhere else. Okay, so we'll take off once again back to the uh, the swamp island because there's just one more thing I want to show you there. sword in hand whenever I come out these doors because you never know when there's going to be a fuzzy guy here waiting for you. We lit it up pretty good but we still get the fuzzy guys. Okay so here's the new project. This is something, this was just a uh, an island, a big like hill here and I come out one day and Pixel had started growing some trees on it and he looked like he had abandoned it. He didn't really like how it was looking. So I decided to change it and I set it up as rows of trees just to maximize production. So we've got eight rows of 32 trees long. So that's uh, 256 trees producing at least four blocks apiece. So that gives us at least 1,024 blocks of wood each time we harvest and on average I'm probably getting 25 or 35 apples each time too so that's good if you're trying to get apples and then down below this is the I just finished this yesterday my potato farm the whole farm for the potatoes and the first time I harvested this I did it with a bucket of water just dumping buckets on these uh, stone slabs here then I thought what am I doing this for why don't I just do this the smart way and I put in levers with redstone and you can see what happens is the lever runs the redstone down to this piston and turns the piston off and lets the water drop so that makes the uh, them all lift but I don't have the whole thing going at once because there's so much here to harvest a bunch will despawn before I can harvest it all so I only do one strip at a time so watch so you can see they all they all get popped up and then I gotta uh, 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 get to the lever and turn it off. Then from here I can run around and harvest. So it looks like I trampled the ground there. And the harvest is pretty easy. I did think about having other channeling that would just channel them all to one spot. And I thought, well that'll take more room. And I'll have to fiddle around with this a lot more. So I thought, nah. I can just run through here and pick them up, you know, for the time it'll take me to get them. It's not a big deal, because uh, most of them go to the edges anyway, and uh, the ones that don't go to the edges, I can just, you know, quickly grab them while I'm going around like this. And you can see, we're almost done, by that one row basically I have that much taters and so I have chests here on the side because I'll be full before I can finish harvesting so I just load them all into the chests and then hit the switch for the next one it's around here somewhere here it is you don't have to hit it for long I mean, that's enough that'll make it all flow and then I can run around and get the taters again I'm going to do it quicker this time. I suppose I could do it even quicker with a speed potion, but...
it does amount to a lot of taters that's for sure because this is uh, uh, I'm using 9x9 nine nine plots and I have 25 of those plots in a 5x5 five five square so you know when you work out the math uh, out of the 9x9 nine nine, there's one plot that's useless because it's where the water is out of all that that makes 2,000 plants are planted here when this whole thing is planted and I'm going to fit these all in here no okay well I'll go down to the other end and we'll plant I've got a chest at the other end to plop the rest into so I've got some chests off to the side here to take care of this for me so that uh, uh, well that one's full now too hmm, I must have forgot to come back and empty it or something but that's a quick demo of, of me doing that you know so uh, in no time I'll have that planted and or uh, cultivated and harvested but I want to show you the tree farm up here now so I usually do two at a, uh, two rows at a time and let's see like that. And I have a high efficiency axe, so I'll dig in and get myself up to height and just start plowing through. We go pretty quick with the high efficiency axe. it takes all of about a minute or so to, to fully harvest this. One row at least. Yeah, once I realized you can plant these oaks right side by side like this, it's like, oh yeah, we can get super plant going. Now, you know, you could have a 5x5 five five block or a 10x10 10 10 block or a 100x100 hundred hundred block of these things, uh, but you're not going to get enough saplings to sustain it. So that's why I only do a one wide, just to make sure I get enough saplings for, to replant. Oh, you saw at the end there. I got a pumpkin farm. I just started that one today. Another thing is I've got glass up at eight blocks above the tree. That way they won't grow into the giant oaks. Giant oaks are great. They got like tons of wood to and, and leaves to harvest, but you know it's it's such a hassle. It takes such a long time to harvest one. I can harvest 30 of these in less than the time it takes me to harvest one of those. So I prefer to just keep them nice and small and quick and easy to harvest. Okay, here we're at the end already. Get the ones up top. through the last two rows down here and then start running around to collect the saplings and the apples because you got to make sure you get the saplings or you're not going to be able to replant and uh, when I first started this I had to plant a tree one every other spot just to build up the sapling supply because uh, you know the closer together you have them the less leaves you're going to have, meaning the less saplings you're going to get. So until you actually get your uh, sapling supply built up, you can't build them this way. Now I've got it now so that uh, uh, on average I'm getting enough saplings to sustain it, but at first it wouldn't, it just couldn't 
get ahead fast enough for me to fully populate the darn thing. So I just keep running up and down like this until I get all the saplings. And then uh, then I can replant. Once I get this down enough and start and replant these rows, then I'll start taking down these other rows. But uh, it's so usually I'll keep the old, those there so I can see how many of each I'm getting. And you can see this uh, awesome pumpkin farm I got going here. It's looking pretty good. It harvests really quick too with the axe. And you might think, yeah, pumpkins, what are they good for? Well, you can make pumpkin pie with them now. And it was when I found out that you actually get four meat pops when you eat a pumpkin pie that I decided pumpkin pie is the thing to have. So now I like to grow lots of pumpkins and have lots of pumpkin pie. And any extras, I can use them for jack-o'-lantern lighting. Because the jack-o'-lantern lighting is a lot less expensive to come by than the... Uh, uh, glowstone, right? So I can easily get jack-o'-lantern lights, but it's very difficult to get the glowstone. Sometimes I'll even see something up there and I'll jump for it. Right. I've, st I've stood there waiting for a sapling to drop out of a tree and watched it despawn and never drop. So if I see something that I actually wanted... Oh, hey, I missed those. I must have been yapping so much I didn't pay attention. Those won't decompose with those there. Looks like I ate twice. That's a glitch I've seen in the game. That uh, if you're still hungry after you eat, it's going to eat again. Whether you wanted to or not. And if you're trying to conserve your food, it doesn't care. It's going to take your food anyway. Alright, so you can see we're up to 55 saplings, and in order to replant these two rows, we need 64. Alright, we'll get that apple. So that's it. What I'll do is I'm going to finish harvesting this whole thing. I'm going to cut here, finish harvesting all of this and all the taters, and then I'll come back and we'll show you how good the, the haul was. So, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we've finished harvesting, and the trees are regrowing now, <coughs> and let's see what we got. We got, looks like about 18 stacks of the wood, in addition to two and a little over half a stack of pumpkin, as well as 23 apples, which isn't too bad. I'll take, uh, yeah, the pumpkin with me can't fit the apples. But the potatoes, you can see, <laughs> I'm full of potatoes. And in addition to that, the chest down here is full of potatoes too. And we've replanted. So we had enough potatoes to replant as well as got all that you're seeing there. Not bad, huh? So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed checking this out with me and enjoyed checking out our swamp island. Uh, we've got a lot of plans for it in the future, mostly farming plans. But uh, thanks for coming by and I hope you all take care. And until next time, this is Neofiz signing out. <laughs>